Okay. So, <clears throat> hopheads, beer lovers, those are my videos. But I will always cover anything that has to do with hops. It's very important. It creates a lot of flavor. So this is going to be a little sideways. I'm not saying it's going to be the next trend, the trend, or whatever. I'm not saying it is or isn't. I just definitely want to be the first person to really cover this on a video and put it out there for you to look at. It is a wine. I already got it ready to cork. From High Winery or Meadow. High Meadow. High Meadow. Meh. So my wonderful girlfriend works out there. Past it. Her boss knows somebody over there. I'm not going to get into details. I don't put in business. But they know each other, and so they went and picked one up. There's a celebration. And she remembered this one and asked, hey, why are you there? Can you grab this one? And the reason is it has hops in it. It's a Sauvignon Blanc, right? Yes. It stays on the yeast called? Lees. Lees. To gain a more bolder, buttery concept flavor. Not really buttery, but what's the description? Bready. Bready. And so that would go hand in hand for like beer, but it's a wine. And then it's crisp, elegant, fresh. The wine unites grapes with dry hop twists to create a love child that intrigues both wine and beer drinkers alike. So I'm hoping that if you're coming to Texas, you're going to be in Austin, you might travel towards Fredericksburg. Along the way, you'll pass this place. And if you're not really feeling it, but your wife or vice versa, maybe the husband's into wine, it happens all the time. But the other one's into beer. I'm hoping this could be a happy medium for both of you. And it definitely has hops in it. So, trying this for the first time. Have you tried it yet? No. All right, we're both doing this for the first time. We're trying to keep it simple. And we'll just see what happens. <clears throat> you do want to smell the cork. It lets you know if it goes bad or not. You can smell the vinegar if it's on there. Not all the time. So you just have to drink it. That sucks. No, you smell in the bottle, sniff, sniff. All right. Damn, you get the Sauvignon Blanc and the little beautiful, beautiful. So I'm gonna do the pour, but it's easier because it's not gonna foam on me. Uh, how many ounces pour? Four or six, babe? Uh, four. Four, uh, right about out there. Yeah. All right, four ounce. Oh, no, it's about two and a half. Two and a half, God damn it, I'm getting there. I'm gonna do a lot. So a lot of white wines are very acidic. <laughs> Some people dig them, some people don't, some people don't know they go to them. There are some beautiful ones like Chardonnay that aren't acidic, but depending where you go, it does change. The same grapes that might be acidic won't have the same acidity. It's, it depends what they're going for. So always talk to them, compare. So if you're not a wine person, just ask questions, talk. They're going to talk to you. And if you're not a beer person and you go to a brewery, they're going to talk to you. So don't worry about it. It's a little sweet. It's a, it's a medium plus nose. Like fruity. I don't know what medium, please. Notes. Yeah, definitely citrus. All right. Here we go. Wine and hops unite. Definitely get the Sauvignon Blanc first. I get a very delicate. I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i not getting the same hoppiness like I would beer. It's like you taste the leaf part more than the actual inside flavor. It's definitely different and unique. So, as far as beer, Do you're, you get, no, you're not gonna. You need two more sips. Two more sips. All right. You can do that. I mean, I get it, but it's not like beer hoppy. It's just there. It's very subtle. Yeah. Very very subtle. It's like you added a little bit of oregano to the salad, <laughs> and you can get it, but you didn't get enough oregano. Fresh oregano is better. All right, so a white wine person, this has a little bit of acidity. Sauvignon Blancs, someone like Sauvignon Blancs. And if you just like beer and you're like, I'll try one of them, this might as well be the one you try. But it's not gonna have the bubbly, sparkly, real fragrance and concept like beer. It's just gonna be in a flat wine and it carries on to the other flavors, so. I definitely smell the hop in there. It's not super strong, but it's there. It's very delicate. All right. Well, that's my mm -hmm. view on it. So if you just happen to be drug along, you might as well try me like I had a hop wine. Because that's, you know, if you're a hop head, you might as well talk about it. As far as the white wine, I can dig it. I like this because it has enough tart where you feel it, but it doesn't kick your taste buds to the that's curb. So 
Huh? I know, acidity. That's what I said. Uh, sourness, if you say sour, that is a term for when things are turning bad. The actual flavor profile comes from acidity, and it just so happens acidity contributes to sour um, process. So you can control acidity and gain that flavor without having actual sour. Sour is when it's actually going bad. So there's different levels of it. In the beginning ones, we obviously tame them and turn them into beautiful drinks. But whenever you're tasting something, you really want to say acid. Vinegar is an acid. Tomatoes are acidic. Orange is acidic. Lemons and limes are acidic. What else is acidic? Pickles. Pickles are acidic. So olives. all the vinegars, olives are in the, in the vinegar, so they're all acidic. So just please keep that in mind because it's a very good salsa. description for what? Salsa. Salsa because there's lime juice in it, lemon juice. Tomatoes. For when you're, I just said tomatoes. And so that will help you break down the flavor profile. Bitter, two types of bitter, toasty, um, like almost burning bitter, and then you have bitter like from a plant, from the the green cell, the cell, you know, all the chlorophyll and all that, it adds a different type of bitter. Then there's citrusy, piney, grassy, and then, uh, yeah, that's about it. Then you have very clean, crisp, uh, zingy, uh, tart, it's weird, because tart can actually be super sweet. Tart is when it's just bold, boom. Cause that could be a tart pastry and it's super sweet and it could be a tart pastry and it's super acidic so i enjoy this wine i tried it for the hops but it's not going to satisfy a hop craving that's all you need to know so please like share um write your opinion on it if you happen to come visit try it try it just do it because it's part of the experience other than that drink safe and this one don't pour big because wine is strong it's right before alcohol. You got beer, wine, and liquor. That's the steps. Don't ever try to race them or chase them because you'll go down. All right, have a good night.